Hey guys, so this is another update video. This time is for Haroth. And the last video I said that the bug of that bypassed uh, shields with stones uh, was fixed. Well, it wasn't fixed, but they fixed it eventually. So, yay. So anyhow, uh, Haroth um, has seen more action on defense. However, um, he does. we do have to talk about a few things. Like, the, the main thing is that even though he's plus 5, even though he has everything on defense, if you place him on F2 on defense, his uh, in, in he, if he's plus 5, his little hammer that every single time everybody hits, um, first it's going to be do the, the skill damage, then the shield is going to be created from F2 in war, and then the little hammer comes in, so it's it's gonna be a problem for him, because if his little hammer doesn't really work, uh, I call the little hammer. The little hammer is the plus five ability for him. If it doesn't actually do the damage directly, because shields are gonna be on the way, it's not gonna be very effective. So uh, let me show you a quick fight here uh, of him on F2 and War to show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, it's 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 a big problem for him. So if you are going to put him on defense, uh, I highly recommend him to be at plus five and on F four. Uh, and that's in that place he's going. I got guarantee he's going to do a lot of damage there. But sadly, I don't have any footage of that because nobody. Um, I, I haven't been able to find any footage on him on on F four. Sadly, because on F four I I'm. Yeah, he's he's gonna overperform for sure, cause uh, in in the, um in the correct team in the correct setup he will do a lot of damage. Uh, a lot of people already know this when he's on the attack, and on the attack he's pretty crazy. If you know what you're doing, you're gonna do a lot of damage. Let me show you a quick clip clip here of how much damage he's able to actually pull off on on the attack. Check it out. Twenty-six freaking K damage. That is insane. I don't care who you are or what you believe in. Twenty-six dam K damage. Any hero that does this this amount of damage, you gotta pay attention to him for sure. So, um, final thoughts on him specifically. I believe that uh, he can be a very powerful hero on the attack. On defense, he will need to do a lot of hoops. Uh, you will try to not use him on F2 and War for sure. If you have a plus 5 for sure. Um, the Awakenings, uh, and this one I, I misinterpret this because uh, he does get the 10 overheat even though uh, he's completely full there. So he's going to have 10. So he's going to have 20% uh, uh, defense penetration and 20% uh, more skill damage. However, 
it doesn't really show as much as damage but when when you actually are in practice so the main thing is the shields the shield that's where the damage really is and that's why he's needing the plus five so much there and uh this is stackable this stacks with uh Leticia, this this stacks uh, with uh, with Thor, so this is pretty nice to have, but it's not really groundbreaking. But sadly, uh, I I really hate when this happens. The sweet sweet spot for this hero is the plus five. Sadly, guys, it's I I really hate it when when a hero it's it's incredibly powerful when you have them plus five. So yeah, sadly that that is the reality of this hero. Sadly, so yeah. If you're really planning to summon this hero, you're going to have to think about getting him to plus five. If you get him to plus zero, um, he will be actually useful. Um, when you're on the attack and you want other heroes on your team to survive. Because uh, if you take off, off, off your mind that he's going to be like a damage hero, no, don't think like that. Uh, think of him as a hero that's going to help your actual attack team survive. Uh, versus a really tough team. Usually, usually when you're playing with uh, w with Haroth on any team you set up on the attack, he's usually the last one to die because he creates so many shields and since he has so much defense, uh, he's he's really a really tanky hero for sure. However, if you're torn between uh, summoning him, trying to get him to plus five and things like that, I in this situation I can safely say that you can decide to skip this hero in this situation um especially the next hero the next hero after haroth is going to be pretty pretty crazy it is going to be a must-have hero no matter what no matter what i yeah it's gonna be a must-have hero so if you want to save your summons for next hero go ahead the next hero is gonna be pretty insane guys all right thank you very much for watching guys have a great day Bye bye